This is a rock boppin' baby. song is called Hard Rockin' Man. Baby, let's go for a ride No, I'm going home with you tonight 
This next song is Blue Moon of Kentucky. is called Mr. Hoodoo. Mr. Hoodoo, 
Yeah, sure. This next song is uh, Girl Like Me. <laughs> What dark eyes you have Should attempt someone bad You're everything that a girl like me could want What big teeth you have Sure to drive someone mad You're everything that a girl like me could want Some say you're the devil in disguise Only got one thing on your mind I think you're a creature of the night Make love to the morning light Lips taste like poisoned wine Seductive kisses show my spine You're everything that a girl like me could want
This next song is called Pedal to the Metal. next song a whole lot of love <laughs>
Thank you, guys. <laughs> Do we have time for one more? All right. This next song is a song that had 8.5 million views. Um, Pass That Bottle. <laughs> Humble brag. Humble brag. Humble. A one, two, a one, two, three. <laughs> the back roads of Tennessee, just a bottle of wine and my baby and me. Borrowed old daddy's brand new Cadillac, if the bar's not open, we'll sneak in the back. Take that bottle and roll in the head, head back home, you remember the way we're going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's gonna be great, I just can't wait. Meet me in the bar about half past eight, we'll get all lit up when he buys that bottle to me. Devil's daughter making me sweat here. <laughs> you guys got tambourines? All right. Shaker. Yeah, shaker something. Shaking over there. Um, so let's let's talk about the Devil's Daughter. Uh, how'd you come up with the name and when did you guys form? Um, the Devil's Daughters originally started in 2011 in um, Arizona. And we previously had another member, but we went separate ways and, you know, went on hiatus for a while. And then I met Annie. I've always worked with Danny since Devil's yeah. Daughter started, but um, of course, beautiful Annie came into the picture and I was like, what more could I ask for yeah. and a singing partner? So um, I, of course, recruited her to be my devil sister in this uh, music venture. But do you remember how you came up with Devil's Daughter? Like, was it, I mean... I really believe it had a lot to do with vodka and... Um, <laughs> well, I was drinking. Bar. Yeah. Started. Just one of those, I was drinking, yeah. and um, yeah, that's... Seemed like a good idea it's, It time. was just a good idea at the time. I mean, <laughs> All the it, other great names it's were... It's totally taken. appropriate. I was just curious <laughs> as to how you came up with that. Um, and let's also give out the uh, website... Um, that uh, Robert will put up there. Oh, the devilsdaughtersofficial.com. Mm -hmm. And also, you can find us on Facebook at uh, facebook.com forward slash the devilsdaughters. 
Okay. And also, you know, with the Texas and Tennessee and all these kind of backgrounds, uh, did the music you listen to influence, you know, the style of music you do today? I definitely think so. I mean, both of us kind of grew up on the the older traditional country and, you know, rock and roll. Yeah. Wanda Jackson, Elvis all had an influence in that, I think. So, and we both, I mean, of course, her uncle, Jerry Lee, yeah. I mean, that's got to be a huge influence. For not only her, of but course. like every, like a everybody. lot of America. I mean, most of every America band, yeah, should yeah. should be influenced by him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, let's also talk about uh, the recording. Uh, how many? There's two CDs. Yeah, we have two EPs, and then we did like a uh, vinyl of both. So both are on one, and it's both of our first time being on actual vinyl. <laughs> now, how does that happen? I mean, I guess there's still vinyl. How, like, when was this vinyl uh, release? Oh, that was not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, it's, oh. It's super. Recent, oh, yeah. wow. Okay. <laughs> That's I was why like, we're I was still thinking, excited about even it. Even last year, that was, that was pretty <laughs> recent that it's on vinyl, but wow. Okay, so just. Yeah, yeah, yeah just. And, and what's the name of that? Uh, it's a uh, rebirth yeah. revelation. Oh, oh yeah. okay. So, yeah. so it's both together. Yeah. The CDs have been out, but the, just right, on vinyl, right. it's out. It's so people, out all together. Yeah. You know, there's a totally different sound CD versus oh, record. Totally, it's yeah, that yeah, yeah, old timey. Yeah. Um, it's the warmth. Uh, yeah, the crisp, <laughs> the crackle. Yeah. Um, yeah, the warmth. Exactly, there you go. yeah. Um, and uh, so where did you, so when was the first one recorded and, and where did you do this? Is this uh, Austin? Or? Yeah, we did it here. So, you know, we just, it kind of quickly came together once we had the idea. So we just kind of pedaled to the metal, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so to say. And we just got it done very quickly with Danny's help, of course, you know, and there's a a million musicians in Austin, you know, the best in the world, yeah. really. And so we just had favorites from friends and, uh, you know, like pull, we got, it, you know, like you have to do, like you have yeah. to do, because none of us have a ton of money because <laughs> we do music for a living. Yeah. Well, the joke is, how do you make a million dollars in music industry? <laughs> Start with five yeah. million to make a million? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. But we're stoked about it. And, you know, Austin has such great recording studios. Oh, God, you guys recorded yeah. it here. Oh, we too. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, when you guys record, so who's, is there one heavy songwriter? Is everybody do a little bit? What's, uh, the first, so Rebirth, the first EP that we released, um, actually Danny and I, and another person did all of the writing on that. It was 99.9% .9 originals minus uh, rock, pop and baby. And then the second, the second CD revelations is mostly covers of really amazing you know, songs. And, um, we have one original on that. I was not fortunately the one to write that. Um, that was a couple guys in Arizona that were in a band called Voodoo Swing and, um, they wrote past that bottle and mm. that alone on YouTube, we, with the previous member, unfortunately, um, we had a video that came out mm -hmm. for that song and we got over 8 million views. Oh. And, um, <laughs> so that's really that's impressive number. Yeah. That's really spiked the interest in the devil's daughters, I think. Nice. And your ladies and talented musicians. Of course. Talented yeah, musicians. Yeah. Yes. The actual the devil's best. daughter. And what, what are these guys? The demons? The demons. What, what these, the, of course, the, Danny's the devil over there in the corner. Awesome, awesome. You know, he's so recognizable with that hat. That's true. Uh, you know, and I've you know met him a few times out here, but yeah. I've also seen, before I met him in person, I've seen him play with other bands, not knowing who you were back then, you know, five years ago or whatever. <laughs> like, that's the guy that that's he's right, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The 80s, they had hair bands. Now, they have, now I'm in a hat band. <laughs> hat band. Yeah, cover up the hair. Um, so, uh, when you write the songs, um, th you said you wrote a few, right? Yes. So, do you have a, you know, a method? Is it you come with lyrics? Um, actually do you have a music of, melody in mind? It went both ways. So, um, actually, Danny wrote most of the music ah. first and um, gave it to me on a CD and said, here, write some words to this. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, it was the first time we had come to Austin and the whole drive back to Arizona, I was just listening to the music over and over again and coming up with lyrics. And, um, you know, then there was a couple songs where I wrote the lyrics and I'm like, hey, Danny, yeah. write some music to Straight this. <laughs> but the majority was Danny writing the music first. Nice. That's a fun homework assignment, yes. too. Like, I love taking a song that I know and just writing, re you know, Writing your own lyrics to it just as a practice yeah, to write lyrics and rhyme and all that good stuff. Um, let's, oh, you're talking about video. Is there any video with 
this iteration of the band? There is some live videos on YouTube. Um, we are we have yet to record an actual music video. Okay. We need to, um, but yes. so far it's it's, it's mostly just live. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Next on the list after, you know, recording and the vinyl and all and that. In Austin, you might be able to find a few guys that know how to shoot a video. I or would hope so. I mean, there's lots of talented videographers out here. <laughs> nice. Some are in, in the studio right now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, and uh, let's, let me go over here. With your writing style, I mean, I guess years and years of playing, how easy is it to come up with a new riff? Because, you know, the riffs, I mean, there's so many, so much music has been done. Right. Is it challenging to come up well, with a new riff? Do you kind of take a style and kind of make it your own? Well, I, find, I find that most of the riffs I come up with are usually derivative from like four or five other riffs. Gotcha. I know. It seems to be like every song I hear that has a cool riff, you go, it's, a little, like it's yeah. a little bit like that. It's a little bit like that. It's because, I mean, how, how much stuff has been written? That's what written? I'm saying. It's hard In not 50 to, years, they've written everything. Not but, to be influenced by but, a song uh, anymore. But when you hit that riff, you go, wow, this is a cool riff. Yeah. And it doesn't sound like the riffs right. that influenced right. it. So. And, and that's also what tickles our ear. Right. Because you don't know why it sounds good to you, but it's some other song you right. like or love. Yeah. Or, you know, a good tune is a good tune. And, you know, when they, yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> no, when I wrote this song, like we were the hard rock and man we did earlier. When I wrote that with Misty, I put the music down and then I sang some lyrics. And I go, and I'm, and I'm singing, I go, hey, he's a hard rocking man, he's my hard rocking I go, okay, here, I want you to sing about how he works on cars, how he, yeah. he does this, maybe he puts cigarettes in his, I'm talking, he puts cigarettes in his sleeve, he does, yeah. think about this, yeah. <laughs> just to give them ideas. Right, right, right. <laughs> like a this vibe. is exactly, yeah. But I'm not right, I don't write lyrics, so right, right. I, but, but, think but about you this. influence and give ideas. Yeah, he's working on a car, he has a cool tattoo, he has cigarettes in his sleeve, he's got this. This music this is, is like this him, kind of a thing. Yeah, tell him how he always takes care of you, and yeah, this is, this is, yeah. <laughs> leave the details to you. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And yeah, man, music video. Right. Yes. That's. I mean, that's. I'm putting that on the list, guys. You got. That's Put it phenomenal. The yes, I'm putting that out there. <laughs> um, let's. Uh, we got. Yeah. Let, let's get out of the way. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get out of the way. We'll come back about 10:50, uh, um, and uh, we'll come back out here and talk a little bit more. Uh, but definitely, uh, the Devil's Daughter, guys. Thank you.